We have today with us the MadVR MV Extreme. It's an HDR video processor, does dynamic frame-by-frame -frame tone mapping, subtitle management, aspect ratio control, instant black bar detection, non-linear stretch, the list goes on and on, and we'll dig into that as we go through. Michael, we're going to talk next about auto aspect ratio handling and how Envy instantly adjusts the aspect ratio to match the content. Okay. Because the Envy can fit any aspect ratio content to any aspect ratio screen. Gotcha. So in show environments, it can be very challenging to have a big screen set up, a projector set up, sure. and all the lighting and um, be able to still see the image. Right. So what we do at the shows is we take a, uh, a masking panel. Okay. So here, this is a 240 panel that we just sit right over the TV. Sure. And it actually frames this to simulate what it would be like watching this gotcha. on a 240 aspect movie screen. Sure, so we've got more TV up here and more TV down here, and we're just hiding that. Right, exactly. So this would be, if this was a 240 aspect ratio movie, okay. this is how it would fit in here. Gotcha. So we just turned the lights up so you guys could see. This is like black velvet. It's going to be hard to see anyway. But we wanted to get to give you an idea of what that looks like and how that's set up before we go to this next demo. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at a scene from Interstellar. Interstellar has both 16 by 9 and widescreen right, scope which is during the movie. That's right. And so whether you're watching like an Apple TV with a 16 by 9 movie and then you, you uh, 16 by 9 user interface, yeah. you play a movie, it's scope. Now it goes wide. Correct. Okay. Now you have to zoom the projector to fill that. Yeah. And then you say, oh, you know what, let's pick out a different movie. You go back to the 16 by 9 Apple TV menu, and now your content is on the ceiling yeah. and on the floor. So I deal with that with my projector because I use the uh, zoom or what do they call it? Uh, lens memory. That's right. On that. And so right. anytime that I have that zoomed out for my full movie, which is in 2.35, Everything's above and below my screen. Right. right. Okay, so and I'm so tracking. One of the key benefits of the Envy's aspect ratio control is it delivers constant image height, okay. which is really just a semi-fancy way of saying that the height is always the same, and it's just whether it's going to be on a 16 by 9 frame like this, mm -hmm. or it's going to be widescreen on a scope image. Gotcha. So as you can see here, hopefully the camera picks it up, we've got the edge of our masking screen, right. and then you've got the black bars on each side, as you would expect with sure. 16 by 9 content on a scoped image. Correct. Okay, so we'll go ahead and play this. And you can see here, we've got 16 by 9 content. Right. And the next couple scenes are 16 by 9. And then it just goes to scope. So this is still 16 by 9 and then right. straight so to scope. So now we're all the way scope. And then back, back to, to 16. 16 by 9. So your processor is handling this internally. That's right. And as you can see, as it goes back and forth, it's instant. Mine doesn't do that. So that's the challenge with lens memory yeah. is you would go, you'd either have to watch the whole movie as a window box gotcha. with black bars on each side, sure. or you'd have to zoom out. But if you zoom out when it goes to 16 by 9, that's when you want up with the content on the screen and the wall. Nice. If you go to www.madvrmb.com, you'll find resources for the MV, including articles, documentation, all sorts of how-tos, and further demonstrations. There's a section on the a website that says where to buy. You click that and you'll be, get connected with an authorized MB dealer. We'll be more than happy to help answer your questions.